All right, guys, we're doing the last six box of contenders. So six box break number two. If you're watching on playback, feel free to skip ahead to the break itself. And um, I'm right here. I'll be doing some setting up. So uh, yeah, about maybe 10, 15 minutes of setting up and the random itself. So once again, feel free to skip ahead. Hope we can pull some awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for everyone who joined, everyone who watches. You guys are awesome. Hey everyone, good to see y'all. How you guys doing? Good to see you guys. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm going to say no, probably not because we have to, have to do this break and then I also have to keep working on, um, what's it called? You know, packaging and preparing everything for shipment, all that kind of stuff. Maybe we have time tomorrow, but I, I would doubt it. It might be maybe like Monday or Tuesday, something like that, which I hate doing because it's the weekday, but I don't think I'll have any time, uh, other than that. Good Earl. How about you? Welcome Ellison. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. I would love if we can just see some ice. Come on, preferably uh, someone someone good. But I I, I want to see ice. It's been so long. Poor old ice probably forgot about us. Mister Nice Ice. Hey, what's what's up, Samuel? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, if we can't get enough people for a weekday, maybe I'll just do it end of the week. I mean, uh, it's been a busy, actually, not just week, it's just been a busy, like, last, like, three months, so. Haven't had a ton of time, which why, schedule-wise and Twitch-wise, Twitch hasn't been set up the way I'd like it to. It's moving much slower, but it's just been a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully, things can clear up soon and we can get some good things happening, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind Monday or Tuesday. Might at some point probably try to take a day to get some of that Twitch stuff done, but <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad at getting that kind of stuff done. It always takes me forever. All right. Yeah, I, I want to play. I want to play. I want to play so bad. It was so much fun. I really had a great time playing hide and seek, but not uh sure if we'll be able to have time next day or two. But anyway, let's uh let's get the random up. I think everything looks good here. I'm just doing some looking, and it looks pretty good. So I'll move all my stuff over here, and where's my here we go. There we go. All right, so good luck, man. Good luck, dude. That the boombox. Uh, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it though. If you haven't seen the newest video on the main Pac-Man channel, bro, <laughs> why are they so mean? They're so mean to us. Uh, let's see. Dice here. So what are we looking at? We're looking at um what, six. Whoops, six. One twenty-three is the date. So there we go. Yeah, they, they, got, they got us good. They got us. I mean, as, as far as... I don't know. Th this this channel here, Pac-Man Breaks, like our streams are more known for like the troll stuff. So the people on the main channel may not get as much, but we are no stranger to a good old troll on this channel here. But um, anyway, here's what we're looking at. So we got six box, contenders, football number two, 123. These are the names list. Let me get these names from my list over here. And um, then we will random them. There we go. So take a look at that. Pause it for a second if you want. There we go. All right. Begin. Let the games begin. 
One, two, oh, three. I didn't even realize it was three. Yeah. All right, there we go. There go the names. Names have been random, randomized, whatever you want to call it. There we are. Copy, copy. All right, let's get a new one up. Same thing. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Six box contenders football number two, 123. This is the teams list. Here are the teams. We got three again. Look at that. What, what is that? Is that a sign, guys? What, um, three big hits? <laughs> or maybe three trolls? I don't know. What do we think? Here are the teams. So once again, these five are comboed, which means that that represents one spot there. And you think it's three big trolls? <laughs> Please, Mr. Three, be nice to us. All right, here we go. Last one. Here we go. Copy. And paste. And I'll get these on the screen for you guys in a second, so, uh, or like, like a minute about. And bear with me. And once again, thanks to all you guys. We had a lot of breaks going on this past like four or five days, so everyone who joined and everyone who also was just in the streams hanging out with us, appreciate all you guys. It, uh, it means a lot, really, truly. And we had a lot of fun, pulled some awesome stuff. And yeah. All right, there we go. Names and teams up there. And those will be up for a few minutes, so take a look at those. And, um, yeah, let me check them all as well as add them to the description. All right, they are in the description too, so now give me a minute or two while I check them over, and um, yeah, then, then we'll get going. Good. All right, let me check one more. Good, 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 and final one. All right. All looks good. Good news is it looks good, and. I already made the post for the IG guys. This is probably record timing of, in terms of being like set up for us. Um, -ba -ba -ba. All right, take one last look at that name, that list of names and teams because it's going bye bye very shortly. And yeah, looking for this. Here we go. All right. Now it's time. I actually raised my camera up a little bit. I didn't even know that there was like on this tripod, the legs extended, but I never like kind of pulling that part. And all of a sudden today I'm holding it. So now it's a little higher up as opposed to a little lower usually. So you're not looking at me like this, like from an up angle. Okay. Get these sleeves right here. If they won't be so stubborn. See, I got the these Ultra Pro ones come in a zip, in a 
Ziploc bag, but I don't like that because then they don't come out easily. The other ones I do like. Alright, everything's all set. Let me quickly open a pack of top loaders. I like I like both. There's like trade-offs for each one that some I like about BCW. I like the packs they come in better. Um, Ultra Pro I think sometimes is a little higher quality. At least from, from the, what I've got while using them. Alright, names and teams going bye bye in three, two, one. There we go. Alright. Once again, the IG post has been sent out, I believe. Let me just make sure it's live. Um, but I think I checked and it was. Yep, yeah, it's up. All right. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. And um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a, a real fun day for football. Got all these boxes here. And put them right here. Just showing you the size of everything. All right. Uh, you know what? There's a way better way to do this. Stack them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Our first full look at a whole case because this will be our last six. I love, I've always loved contenders, but hopefully they didn't water it down. So far, we've gotten some nice stuff. So. Also, I think tonight McGregor fights, right? And then tomorrow is big day for the games. So, in terms of sport action, I like it. Very good. I, I don't like how easily these rip now. Like, they make them too easy. There's a there's a middle happy medium between flimsy and sturdy, and they can't seem to find it. I hope I hope one a today. All right. Uh, there we go. MVP contenders breeze. How many different Pac-Mans are there? There's Pac-Man Junior, Pac-Man, uh, Pac-Man the Third, Pac-Man Son. Tomorrow, I think I think the Packers will win, and then give me the Chiefs. But I mean, these are both good teams. I mean, on the other side, so you never know. That's James Robinson. I really, really want the Jags to get Trevor Lawrence a lot of good pieces and help because I would hate to see his career you know be hampered by a bad supporting cast thank you nba highlights give me packers give me packers not by a, i don't think by a lot unless barring some crazy like turn of events but i i think it'll be the packers 174 zach bond and then legendary contenders Favre. all right i think the base are a little too busy like the field itself too it looks a little too busy to me Mahomes, yeah, he, uh, I don't know. I don't know how, like, the extent to how hampered he'll be because of, because of the injury, you know. Brady, but, like, I think I picked, people, someone asked me, like, who who I think could win the Super Bowl. I, I said Chiefs, and I said Bucks. The Packers are so good. I mean, you just never know. Uh, well, Michael Pirine and James Morgan. Didn't you say Mims was the best one, though? If Mims is the best one, then, rip. But, I mean, yeah, when these games are going to be good. Good football, I mean, nothing quite like it. We'll see what happens. There's Watson there. He wants to go to the Jets? Are you kidding me? Is, the, is that a joke? Why would you want to be with the Jets? Like, no offense to the Jets, but, like, why would you want, if you're complaining about the Texans, you want to go to the Jets? Got a stub ticket, 246. Justin... Madu, oh wait, didn't you guys tell me how to pronounce this? A stub ticket though, that's to uh, 92. Wish it was like a guy with a really low number. There's the stub ones this year. She so got that little stub at the top, kind of that trim die cut at the bottom. Got DeAndre Swift, Rookie of the Year contenders. Nice, I like these stub ones. It's a parallel there.
Matabuke. Matabuke. I'm not gonna remember it though, like, not- I need to say it a few times before I can remember it, you know? Like, it, it's just like, <laughs> a tough one. Ray Lewis? Give me like 10 times to say it, and then maybe I'm like, yeah, alright. Still, I mean, you need a lot more help than that. And a uh, LaVisca. Oh, yeah, put the. Oh, yeah, never mind. I hate I hate how these packs rip. It's just like the middle is so, so flimsy, it just falls apart. Parallel here, Michael Thomas to 149. Uh, one of 149. Yeah, one. And then Cam, winning ticket. Oh, we got a points card. Looks like 400. All right. 400 points. CJ and Caleb Von Chase on. So far, they're all on the same team, which means don't have to random those yet. But this points will be random at the end. We got uh, this base here. Put this right here for now. Uh, these piles are getting, who knows. They're going to get messy. Good old Mar winning ticket. And I think we're still looking for the on card guy. Mahomes MVP contenders. I like when the interest actually makes sense. Might have one right here. 210, not on card. Oh, People's Jones. Based on the one I pulled, that's, that's, that's probably not bad because a lot of people were trying to buy this from me. Although I haven't gotten back to most of the messages yet, but here you go. Yeah, when they actually make sense, sometimes you'll see like some dude who never stepped on the field, like the MVP contender or rookie of the year contender. I mean, he's not even in the league. Of course, all the autos will top load um, right after just for the sake of time. Won't be handling them much until then anyway. There's a mean Joe Green. Burrow and Tua, so that will have to be random. Someone's going to have to... Someone's going to get it. We have so many piles. This is looking like a game of uh, Scrabble? Where it's just like building off each other. One, two, three. Here's our on card. Of J.K. Dobbins. Nice. And the uh, Drew Locke MVP contenders. Nice. J.K. for the uh, Ravens. Nice. There we go. Who's my favorite NBA player non-Grizz? I mean, I like LeBron. Um, who else do I like? Rudy Gay. That wasn't, that's not hard. Um, there's more. I, I'm blanking on it. I, I like a lot of guys. However, I also, anyone who, whenever I watch a Grizzlies game, I get like frustrated, I just hold that grudge. Like, like the Warriors, for example. There's, there's a bunch of matchups. Because the Warriors, if you look back, the Warriors and the Grizzlies used to have some battles. And it frustrated me because they're always getting away with something. And that's why I, I, I can't send the Warriors. Then, like, ah, there's like 50 other players. Someone's asked me about them recently. Justin Jefferson there. And every single one's like, I don't like him. I don't like him. Because of this. Because of this. Unfortunately, the Grizzlies aren't contending right now. Like, random play, like Reggie Jackson. Because with, with the Thunder, he was giving us fits. It was pissing me off, man. I was like, no! 
Like we'd score, and then all of a sudden here comes Reggie Jackson. I'm like, like stop him, and he just gets right to the hole. Oh, but man, those are fun days. Like I love, I love them. And I don't actually hate the hate the dude, but like you know, in terms of rooting for him, holding that grudge, getting away with beating my poor Grizz. No one's given us some mercy. But we used to fight back in the day. We we went toe to toe with some of the big 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 fish in the in the West. Uh, we'll put these autos here. And a random stuff will stay right here. Points. And then this card there. Next one up. I like GP. I like Kawhi. But then at the same time, sometimes I don't like GP and Kawhi if they're, uh, when they're playing Memphis. I just want the Grizzlies to win. I, I just want to see those days. Oh. <sighs> Back when I was younger, there was an article written by, I think, like, uh, Sekou Smith, something like that. And he, it was before the 2012 or 13 season. And, um, I mean, playoffs. And he's predicting what was going to happen, and this is when the Grizzlies were fighting, and, and I thought I really thought we had a chance to, to make it. You know, I was like, this team is tough. We can fight, and Memphis, uh, not Memphis, uh, Miami, didn't have a, a big man. We had two monsters. We had Zebo, we had Mark. So I was like, if we can get the Cavs, I mean not the Cavs, the Heat. And then Seku Smith was like, after the Grizzlies won the championship, I was like, oh. and Paul George like, averaged a triple double, which none of those things happened. But at the time, I was young enough to believe it, and I was like, holy. We're going to win. Well, that was fun, man. That was so much fun. I love, love basketball. A lot of great players in the league. And then whenever someone beats the Grizzlies for like a good month or two, they're on the they're on the no-no list. Got uh, Isaiah Simmons. What's funny enough is most of these players that I claim I don't like, I have cards of. <laughs> and after like maybe, I don't know, who knows how long, maybe I get over it, but still, whenever I think of them, I think, when I think Reggie Jackson, I think of him giving us some fits in the, in the playoffs. When I think of Curry, him just drilling threes on us. Dalton Keene. Here's a Gross Matus and Hamler. The George Paul of football, I'm not sure. George Paul of football. That's a great question. Who is the George Paul of football? All right, there we go. Juju. Yeah, Keen saw it. At least, once again, I, I've based a lot of this if I'm not, haven't watched him a ton. Oh, I based it off of, you know, what other people say. Uh, I don't even see the, the donut. Oh, there we go. Jeez, it was early. Um, thanks, Aiden. Jersey Mike's is good. At least where I am. Is Jersey Mike's not good over there? I never, it never dawned on me. It could, could not be good somewhere else. I, it's pretty good here. We all like it. Aaron Donald. Like Brady, for example, like going over kind of my Grizzlies thing for football. Like I have a lot of respect for Tom Brady. Obviously, he's the goat. You can't like not respect him. But I, I'm not a Tom Brady fan at all. As a Giants fan, no, 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 no. And we we gave he, he lost to him because us. So sorry. Two forty six. Matabuke, right? You got another one of him. Although the other one was a stub. Did I say that right? Jordan Love right there. Gotta love love. All you need is love. Thank you, Aiden. Jersey Mike is better than Subway. I like Jersey Mike better than Subway, but I like Subway too. Subway's quality. I mean, in terms of like flavor. I mean, like sometimes was the meatball one I used to always get when I was a kid. That's just like, oh, oh man. No, so much fun. It was like $5 foot longs. Dad's like, ever get in the car going to Subway? I knew what I was getting. Mickey D's, yeah. Yeah, Raven's cleaning up. Okay. Got a Ayuk and Kinlock. Good. No random need to be done. This will go straight to the Niners. 
I was so excited to do honors first off the line today for the for the video. And then I, I, I wake up and I'm like, uh-oh. No email saying my thing's gonna be delivered. And sure enough, it hasn't moved in like forever. Because on FedEx around me, talk about people who, come on, like really? Can, can we, there's no reason for it to be sitting still for so long and just not moving. Uh, Tua and then to 49, we got a Dick Buckus. But man, it's crazy, I mean. Monday, I guess. Hopefully Monday. Knock on wood. Another points card. So, <laughs> at least it's not replacing the on-card auto. 400 points again. So, two people will be getting 400 points. Which I guess nowadays, back in the day, when you got points, you'd be pissed. But nowadays, I guess people view it a little better since those, those packs they always drop. But back in the day, they didn't drop those packs. So, everyone, like at least not often. There's maybe the white sparkles every now and then, but... Yeah, points used to be like a death sentence. Now everyone's like, hee hee. And if that replaces a random sticker auto, then that's actually, in all honesty, I think that's a dub. If it replaces the on card auto, then we have a problem. All right, let's see who we got. Who do we got? Who do we got? Mm, okay, take buckets again. Just this on the base. Hey, Daryl. Good luck, man. One sixty-eight. Xavier McKinney for the Giants. Nice. And they, they finally we see some Herbert. Look at this auto. Look at this guy. Come on, man. Actually, you know what? That's not even the worst one. That's the crazy part. And Justin Herbert. We finally see some Herbert. Maybe we'll see a cracked ice. If we pull a cracked ice auto, I'm going to faint. Oh, cracked ice is just the the beauty of cards to me. I mean, uh, I I feel like I'm I'm too old school because everyone else is like they're just okay, man. And then me and a guy, a couple guys who like have been uh who I've known since like I first like made the channel even. We're just like, man, contenders, that's the that's the tried and true one, right? And everyone else is like, ew. <laughs> yeah, should be hopefully so hopefully, Andrew, you know. Hope to see it. Hope to see it. Nice. Stays with the uh, Vikings. Got Jeff Gladney and Justin Jefferson. Very nice, Justin. Dare me to pull good auto? I'll take truth. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Imagine, yeah, dude, Cam Reddish, come on, dude. Really? Really? CD Lamb, too. Like, the fact that they're collecting cash for that, sometimes. Is it is it true? Is he going to be winning tomorrow? Or is he going to be losing ticket? I'm, I'm, I'm saying he's going to be winning ticket tomorrow. We'll see. NFL Favorite NFL player of all time. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough. Um, hmm. Well, let's see who this guy is. 139. Got Gabriel Davis. Actually, that's not bad at all. MVP contenders. Oh, I wish it was a parallel. Gabriel Davis. Nice. For the... Uh, uh, before, for the Bills. Dominic, congrats. J oh, Jalen Hurts cracked ice would be sick. Gabriel Davis. Not bad. We'll take that. We'll take that. I think there's three Buffalo. There's also uh, Fromm and... Jeez, Fromm and, um, what's his name? Moss. But I think he's the better of the three to get. Alright, let, let, let me think. Let me think. Uh, my favorite players... And, you know, this list kind of changes a lot. I like... I'm a big fan of Joey Bosa. I like Baker. Um, who else is there? Khalil Mack. Oh, man, I'm blanking. I used to have all these guys on Madden all the time. I can't even remember. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Dobbins there? Nice. Yeah, it's, it's blanking on me. 
Star Wide. My favorite Giants player. No, but the, uh, I like Strahan a lot. I like Tiki. I think it gotta be one of those two. Oh, there you go. So two down. So far, the on-card autos have been nice for us. I, I always loved Tiki, especially as a kid. The running backs, I was just like, like wow, like I want to be a running back. I can never be a running back, and nor would I want to be. Like I don't think. Not only do I not want that kind of like wear and tear in my body, but I don't think I could even take it. So <laughs> it doesn't matter whether I want it or not. I think I, my body would crumble one hit. Uh, who else do I like? I like a lot of the guys I like are defensive players, though, so, because my like as odd as it is, my favorite player, my favorite stat in football is sacks. My favorite stat in basketball are rebounds and blocks, which is why when I play my career, I play as a center. I don't even score that much. I just get like tons of rebounds and block every shot I can. I just love that. Um, Giants LT, yes. Got a playoff ticket. Cortland Sutton to one ninety nine. And Jordan Love, all you need is Mr. Love. Kinlaw, Ayuk. We'll see how he does. I mean, uh, love. Ah, oh, man. That, that, oh. I already saw the arm. 186. Logan Wilson. Man, why did you see the helmet first? Well, we know by the number. I think it's like 101 to... Uh, there's Michael Thomas. 101 all the way up to 1, like 42 or something like that. That's the on-card guys. That's how you know. Oh, yeah, I love pass rush shoes. Oh, man, who else? Is I used to have, like... See, the problem is I would spend all my money in um, virtual virtual money from Ultimate Team when I used to play Madden on O-line and defense because I just love defense. And so I would have, like... But I would I love defensive ends the most. So I would have so many defensive ends. And you only need, like... A, you don't need that many. But my pass rush was vicious. I would always have Bosa... I would always have, and this package getting butchered. Oh, actually, not really. Never mind. It felt like it was messed up back there. Um, I would have both. So I would always have Mac. Who else would I always have? Um, I liked Sue having Sue there. Mean Joe Green. Rugs. I used to be pretty decent at that, I'd say. We have gotten one Herbert card. Love could be sitting for a while. If I'm love, I'm like, man, it's been 80 million years. A third? Buckus. Burrow's a redemption, yeah, yeah. I pulled two redemptions and none of them were Burrow. If you're wondering how uh, how my my personal contender was going. Well, actually, no, I think it's this side, right? Oh, no, I was wrong. 171. Kyle Duggar. Oh, there's another Herbert. There they are. I told you they're coming. To 99. Kid Reporter. So we have like a bajillion Kid Reporters and they're all like expired. <laughs> Come on, Panini. There we go. And Mr. Herbert. There we go. I can't wait to see Burrow again. Burrow and Herbert I like a lot. I like Tua too. Dude, the Cavs are like the are the Nets kryptonite. If the Cavs and the Nets play each other in the playoffs, forget it. <laughs> At this rate, I keep beating them. Uh, there's Viking, uh, Vikings again, Justin Jefferson and uh, Jeff Gladney. I don't get how they do it. Oh, Katie didn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. Katie didn't play. Still, you beat Harden and Kyrie. They played, I remember seeing. That counts for something. I mean, the Cavs, 
I don't for some reason associate with being good, but they're they're they can play. Rodgers. Not a lot of terrible teams this year. You really think about it. No, just like awful teams. I mean, it's a couple of them, but not as many as usual. Sometimes in years past, there have been some terrible teams. Redemption. Oh, come on. Oh, not funny. Not funny at all. All right. Well, let's get the filler, fellas. Actually, you know what? We're using a kid reporter this time. We're switching it up. We're using a kid reporter. Predictions. Is it wah wah or is it ba ba boom? What do you guys think? Wah wah, ba 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 boom. Here we go. <laughs> we got some wah wah. Oh, I got some, some ba ba boom. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Rookie ticket variation. So it's not one of the odd. It could be James Robinson. It could be Isaiah Simmons. Jeff Gladney. Uh, well, we just saw him on the card. Is he good? <laughs> Vikings fans, can you help me out here? Good? Bad? Any uh, decent player? Decent? First round, yeah. Well, how, how'd he play this year? I mean, he was on the round numbers with Justin Jefferson. No, I thought he was a uh, second. Wait. Well, now the card's missing. Well, if we pull it again, we'll see. Trash. <laughs> Poor guy. Getting getting roasted for no reason. Hold on. Uh, yeah, round numbers one. Justin Jefferson and Jeff Gladys. He's a first rounder. Yeah, could be something. Who knows? It's hard not to think short-sighted and just like, like right now who's good. But yeah, I mean, once again, some of these guys could end up doing something crazy. You never know. Hope is that they would. Dobbins again. Next breaks. I mean, won't it'll, it'll be probably a few days because I, I still got to do more, more packing, more shipping stuff. A lot of, lot to be done. Eventually, maybe after, you know, when things have settled down, I can hire like some shipping help. But for now, it's 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 just a uh, just ship away. Sometimes miss Pac Man or something like that. But oh, Xavier McKinney could it be a parallel. Nope. Oh, th this time his auto is a little longer. You got Herbert and Love. So now we got like our third Herbert card. Uh, there at least there'll probably be at least be one basketball. But since bat, I mean literally basketball is getting so hard for me to get. It's not. It's not even funny. I mean I can't. I'm really struggling to get basketball stuff. It's just so hard now. Football stuff isn't exactly a you know, walk in the park for me either since I mainly would buy basketball. But now the people who have basketball won't even sell it. Everyone just wants to, ah, uh, like they won't even budge sometimes. They're asking so much. I'm like, can you do this? I'm like, nope. Nah, bro, sorry. I know it's going to go up in price. I'm like, all right, can you at least like do this? Like, nah, bro. Pass, bro. I'm like, all right. Ugh. It's so it's so frustrating, and I'm I'm trying to buy. A lot of people are trying to buy from have like no affiliation with cards. They're just sitting on like cases and cases of product, like tons. And they sorry, bro, sorry, nah, pass, pass, pass. I'm like, can you budge a millimeter? They're like, nah, bro. I'm like, all right, I'm sick of this. Like, sorry, man. I'm like, it's going. I'm like, let's say blowout has for this much, like eBay this much, blah blah blah. And they're like, yeah, sorry, I'm I'm sticking with my price. I mean, at this point, what are you gonna do? They won't sell it, so. It's tougher to get bas uh, basketball, which is why I won't be able to do it, like uh, two mixtures every week. Every now and then, yeah, but it's not easy. 131. Zach Moss this time. Is it a parallel? Oh, it is. Ooh, nice. Championship ticket, Zach Moss. Solid for the um, for the Bills. Uh, Dominic again. I, I have been like in trying to negotiate with some, like, some people who are straight up jerks. Like, I'm trying to just have, like, a regular, normal conversation, and they're just being, like, complete, like, dude, like, get, like, are you okay, dude? Like, seriously. I'm not, I'm not, I'm never going like, to name any names or anything like that, but some people who I try, I'm like, hey, like, saw you're selling this. And not only is there very little sense in the argument, like, 
I don't know. I, I just like have no clue what I'm doing sometimes. Like, what is this? So getting uh, getting a lot of the product is tough. I'll try to do as much basketball as I can, but with no 2021 stuff out for once again another couple weeks, and even then, it's gonna be super expensive. Not easy. Got a Mims. You guys said he's the best jet, right? I, I, I'm gonna keep trying. I mean, I spent a lot of my time trying to buy boxes and stuff, but not not the easiest thing to do. Not. I mean, I never thought I'd see the day where it's like you can't even buy it. Like straight up at straight up like the price is going for, and they nope, I want more. I'm like, you won't do what's going for now. Why is it listed? Like they won't even. Sometimes they don't even say anything. They're like, sorry, nope. So I try. I try my best. And, um, yeah, if there's less basketball mixers, I mean, I'll still try to do at least one or two every week, like I have been doing. So instead of posting two basketball mixers every single, like, installment of breaks I post, like I post two at a time, maybe it'll be one plus, like, a case of something else I could find or a football break or stuff like that. Yep, blowout is the, is the biggest problem. Is there every day they're raising the price. So then these guys are like, well, I know, and, and they're, they're right, technically. They're right. They're like, I know I can get more. They, they can probably keep holding out and keep waiting. So, like, why? Why sell it? Now, sometimes you could... A lot of people might sell it and then reinvest in something else that could go up even more than what they currently have, right? But, like, they, they're just not selling it. It's a tough because... I mean, blowouts, prices are crazy. Blowout used to be the cheapest place to buy cards. Stuff would be on sale. I, if I wanted the new contenders, I wait a week, it goes on sale. I can get it for, like... Maybe it used to be like 120, and maybe I get a box for 110. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I see, and people are buying it. So, like, well, if I'm blowout, why not keep doing it? Why? They're buying it. Why would I stop? They're making tons of money. There's no reason to stop. And then Seal City and DA, they're they're doing the same thing. I mean, they're all into, they're in cahoots because those things move. Like 12 on the dot, all of a sudden, or 8 a.m. Ping! All the prices change at once. I'm like. What's going on here? Collusion. 49ers there. Got Mr. Steve Young. But yeah, stuff stuff is expensive. I Don Russ at twelve hundred. <laughs> yeah, what do you used to be like one twenty and also it goes down to one ten. Now it goes it never hits one twenty. It comes out at six hundred and goes up to six fifty. That's what we're looking at now. So give you guys a little look into the old way uh, things used to be. Oh, nice, got rookie of the contenders, Simmons to 149. And then got DJ Dallas and Kobe Parkinson round four. They're both Seahawks, right? Yeah, both Seahawks. Are they? Yeah, I don't even I don't even go on their site to buy stuff anymore. It's just like too much. Every now and then, yeah, I, I, I do, but like very rarely. And sometimes they'll have a sale, and that's when I'll, I'll pounce. Because they'll have, like, I think they had a couple 10% off sales at one point. And I quickly pounced. And I, and I was able to get it for, like, pretty much market value. <laughs> that's how crazy it was. But you have to buy from them. Where else can you get a full case of something, right? Where else can you get a, a you know, stuff like that. So that's, we're living in crazy times. Uh, I think they announced it yesterday, the Kid Reporter. Yeah, Steel City. I used to buy a lot from Steel City, DA, and then, um, you know, some from Blowout 2. I still, do I still buy from them? Yeah, whenever I see a good deal. I, I watch the prices every now and then, but not as much as I used to. I used to be on there every day, always checking. Now, every now and then, I'll pop on, find a deal, fine. But they're few and far between now. And I'll quickly pounce. You, you got to hop on it because they'll, they'll be changed back. But the thing is for them, they need to have product on their site. I understand. Like, like, I don't. I'm not just saying like, oh, they're so wrong for this, and you know, they're the worst. Like, they they need to. Oh, Ross uh, Blacklock to 99 and 99, face forward, and John Riggins. But they need to have product on their site. If it's regular value, people just keep buying it up, and they have nothing on their site. They need to have something. So I guess, you know, they got they mark it up a bit, and it still sells. But that's the hobby, man. The 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 silver lining is cars are more valuable too. Imagine if cards didn't go up in price, but the but the boxes did. That would that would stink. 
I buy from everywhere. I, I you know, whether it, I do buy still some from those you know, the big three. If I see a good deal, as I said, sometimes from my LCS, sometimes random people, as long as I you know, think they're trustworthy. Um, yeah, every now and then, if I see something on eBay, but I would have to really trust it in order to buy. There, Ayuk. Because not too long ago, and you'll see it in an upcoming video, but I, I had some issues trying to buy on eBay, so I was like, that's it. Like, gotta be a little careful. eBay usually is fine, but every now and then there's a bad apple. Yep, it's a crazy thing. But hey, I mean, at least at least you can uh, s move your cards. Because back in the day, also, I had have a lot of trouble moving cards. People just weren't buying rugs and Judy, and stuff is cheap. You're like, yeah, I'll buy it later. No, re no reason to buy it now. So like, moving cards was not easy. And the prices, they didn't go for a lot. Like, I, I was going to buy him a home contenders auto. I was telling uh, someone for about 180 bucks, I think, his rookie year, or maybe about 200 bucks. And I passed. I was like, wow, that's going to go down. And um, I didn't buy it. And I regret that. Tannehill. Boxes are just, yeah, crazy, crazy pricey. Um, but yeah, car card used to not sell for much. Now I can sell a card easy. If I want to sell a card, there's you know hundreds of people who want to buy it. That's, that's the silver lining, Jonathan Taylor there, is that people will buy the cards. And they're going for more. So at least that, that goes up with it. All right, let's see. Two twenty. Malcolm Perry and uh, Ed. All right, Malcolm Perry. At least he wrote his name. Yeah, a lot of cards going up. So, you know, is it good? The prices are expensive. No, it kind of sucks. But there are pros and cons to everything. So, I mean. We'll complain about, oh, it's so expensive, but imagine you pull a big hit and you can only sell it for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> that would suck. Whereas now you're pulling a big hit yourself for thousands of dollars. And now grading is a huge thing. I don't really like grading cards that much. I also would rather have cards in a mag, which is why a lot of my cards aren't graded. I'll eventually grade them because I would have to be stupid to not grade them eventually if I want to sell them. But like, Because um, th these days everything, if you, as long as it has a chance to like gem, that can just be a just ton of added value for... Very little put in. Yeah, I, I was going to buy a lot of big cards. I can remember it vividly. Some monster cards I was going to buy. It'll go down. The biggest, I, I talk about all the time, the biggest ones being the Purple Luca, which I was watching steadily for a year. Over a year, I was just kept, kept kept watching that card and then kept watching it go up. I was like, no way, maybe he'll have a bad game. Good game, good game, good game. And all of a sudden, uh oh, two eleven, James Proch, and uh, Joe Burrow got that little butterfly auto, and then the Mahomes contenders autograph. And I was this close, this close to pulling the trigger on buying the chief spot in an optic full case of seventeen optic, buying tons of cheap spots for like 70 bucks and I pass on all of them there was like tw I don't know 20 breaks that I saw listed at one point for the for the Chiefs and I was looking for Kareem Hunt not Mahomes that was the crazy part and I was like ooh should I buy it and I said and I passed you know how many base Mahomes and hollow Mahomes and Mahomes autographs I would have gotten and I, I bought something else stupid instead probably but man, that that those chief spots, the Luca purple and the Mahomes contenders autograph, those were the toughest ones that I remember so vividly. I tell you guys now, but it hurts. Well, see, a lot of it, like for me, for example, is enjoyment. Like, could I? I could probably do a lot better if I was buying singles and just flipping them. But there's no joy in that for me. You know, it's no fun. I don't want it just to be about like just money all the time. It kind of sucks a lot of the joy out of it. I like ripping packs. Do I lose a lot? Yeah. But do I, I win some? I get my fair share of good stuff. Okuda.
But we have a stub. Have we gotten the on-card auto in this one yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Oh, no! Oh, oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! 8 of 18, Justin Jefferson stub! Woo! Congrats to Aaron! <laughs> stub Justin Jefferson. Dude. And I realized what I, I mixed myself up. That last autograph we pulled was the on card from the last box, and that was the one I saw, but we pulled it last. I completely forgot we pulled it last. And that's why it was sitting right there. That's a nice card. I love the stub tickets. They're numbered to the jersey number, of course, so he's 18. And let me get a top order for Mr. Jefferson. Put it nice and carefully. There we go. Everyone's friends. All right, it's going to shake the table a bit, but this is the best way to do it without touching the card. Woo! I like that a lot. That is a sick card. Is Aaron in here? Aaron, if you were watching this now or on playback, I want to say congrats to you. Awesome pull, man. Congrats. Wow. Yeah, I hope, hope he has some awesome stuff coming. I mean, he, he's got a lot of talent. They got to get him. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 18. Get him some uh, good stuff going around there. That's nice. Now, that plus Tua, that is starting to take some shape for me, you know? So when you see me rip my boxes and I don't do too well, you know, I could have easily gotten the case hit and you guys would have think all of them like that, which is why, you know, sometimes I hate, I, I hate to, I'll, my video will kind of give it either a bad rap or a good rap. If I pull something good, everyone's like, oh, this is great. If I pull something terrible, you guys are like, and I got two of the not the best boxes. I got one, they're both okay. I got two average boxes. Of, uh, of my contenders so no no case hit but I mean we've seen already what like three four really nice cards come from these I could have easily gotten those boxes man that's a beautiful card What's, what are you guys talking about with grading yeah the time is always a big factor for me like I don't want to not see my card again for like five months now the more expensive ones I might be a little quicker maybe about a month if I do like a five day option Goff, and then it got an Eason. BGS 10 is, especially the blacklist, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I like the cases better for BGS. Um, PSA is more desirable right now. There was a time when I, I felt person that BGS was more desirable and going for more, and all of a sudden it kind of shifted. So the, the bad thing about a lot of the influx is a lot of kind of like group things taking over. Like, you know, one common pr opinion maybe from someone all of a sudden kind of like spreads and all of a sudden it takes shape, right? Like Prism being the most popular for football now, uh, PSA being better than like the best by far. Like, a lot of stuff's changed. It's, it's crazy to see. Oh, Jake Breelin. It's 99. And then we got uh, Jefferson and Burrow. Well, I, I say you should go with the one you like, like, you know. But BGS Black Labels, those are incredible cards. Yeah, PSA stuff, especially for what it goes for, it just like, yeah, you kind of got to go with PSA. And I've been putting up, sending off a lot of cards. I just don't want to. Like, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> it's just not fun for me. I want to send off a bunch of, you know, base stuff I have. I know it'll be worth a lot, but then I don't need, I have to go through the trouble of selling it. So if you're ever wondering why I don't grade a lot of cards, it's just like, I don't know. I just, I just don't want to do it. Eventually I will, and I'll, I'll try to get in the habit of maybe doing it. It'd be fun to see how they grade, but I've been putting it off. But it's also so subjective, because say some random, like I've seen some terrible results from both PSA and BGS, where I'm like, that is ter that's, that's just wrong. It's so subjective, it's whoever's grading it, right? Like the fact that I could re resend my card to a certain company and get a better grade, 
or resend it to the same company twice and come back with a better grade that just shows like grading it's just some regular like these people aren't are, are different they're not all thinking the same way one guy's like that's nine to me some guy's like that's an eight five to me some guy's like that's a ten he puts down ten Dearnest Johnson to 99. Two parallels. Jerry Rice. I'm no grading expert, though. So, I mean, I just, I'm just speaking of my opinions, the way I see things. And, of course, you know, for, my opinion could even change. I could also, after you know, a few months, say, hey, I like this better now. My opinions certainly change over time. But that's just kind of how I feel right now. Sometimes rambling about random stuff. But hobby is a unique thing. It's, it's always changing. It's, it's a lot of fun. Judy, um, there's good parts to it. There's bad parts to it sometimes. But overall, I, I just love the hobby so much. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, Brandon. What's going on? Got CD and Jalen Rieger. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some parallel of some sort. Watson, 25. Nice. MVP contenders. Where does he end up? Jets? Or Dolphins? Giants? Lions, you think? Actually, it wouldn't be too bad. I don't know why he wants to go to the Jets. I just don't get that. Kirk. Jets, you go, mm, we'll see. Maybe he stays with the Texans. <laughs> nah, but he's, he's, he's definitely out of there, I think. Two forty three. Steve Steven Sims Jr. got a Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah, Texans. The, oh. <laughs> Talk about uh, a future of, of just like a gloomy future. You better lose Watson. You don't have your draft picks as the third was a third pick in the draft. Like you, oh, that hurt. That's physical pain. Thank you about that. I'm not even a Texans fan. Omar. D hop, tonsil stuff, trade for a running back. Oh, that they did Watson wrong, and, and I think he uh, like he needs to get out of there. I'm happy he's trying to get out because that's that's just a terrible place to be right now. So poorly run. All right, here we go. We got something here. One forty four. C.J. Henderson. Is it another base one? Another base one. We saw one of those yesterday. I like Clippers and the Lakers. I like the fun guy in George Paul, and I like the Kang. I like LaFraud. LaDoodoo. Thank you, David, for the sub. See, now I'm thinking about... Oh, oh, thank you, William, for the sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Colts there, Pittman, and uh, Jonathan Taylor. I have a, I've have narrowed down a, a couple guys. I'm very picky about who I send my cards to. I've narrowed it down to a couple guys I probably will send it to on Instagram for my group sub. I've been asking around, doing some research. Tadaboy, thank you. So I'm probably going to send it out to them. And, yeah, at some point. Deck. I've already done one myself, so not like I don't know the process. I wouldn't take a receiver too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This could be exciting. Oh, redemption. Please give us Burrow. 
Hammer. All right. Should we use a kid reporter or a filler? What do you guys want to do? Good, Jim. So far, so good. Hope same goes for you. Kid reporter. First one I see three of. Kid. All right. Doing kid reporter. Let's see. Is it no one make no one sauce or is it big hit burrow or Claypool? Simmons isn't too bad either, right? Could be Justin Kelly. And we I'm leaning towards Kelly because we got two parallels already and we got a a Watson to 25. 112. Oh, Clyde Edwards Alaire. I know he was a redemption. Not bad. Congrats to the Chiefs. Uh Jeffrey. I saw him in here earlier. You still in here, man? Um. Well, hey, if you're listening to this. Oh, there you go. I see him. Hey, there you go. Everyone give him a congrats. Nice. Put it here. Why not? Very nice. The on-card autos are being much nicer to us today. Glad that we were able to me and contenders, we had a little bit of a quick falling out, but we were able to meet us men, talk it out. And and I'm glad that we pulled, because after my boxes, I was like, uh-oh. I was like, you better, I got some buddies coming over tonight in the stream, and you better not disappoint them. Uh, Claypool there, speaking of Claypool. All right, last, last box of regular. Next basketball break, probably, say Saturday. Probably midweek-ish, somewhere around there. Not 100% sure. Something like that. All right, last one. Will we see a cracked ice? We saw a really short printed stub. So, I mean, you're not guaranteed a cracked ice per, per case. Definitely not. But we already got one, two, like like four and a, four to six cards. I'm like, nice, like very nice. Including three that I'm like, like boom. Yeah, man, we've been really blessed to pull some awesome stuff in the basketball. I'm always, I'm always hoping we pull some awesome stuff for you guys, and it makes me so happy to see it. Hopefully, it keeps up. I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to some more fun things. If you got any basketball hobby boxes you're ever selling, hit me up because <laughs> my stash is low. Uh, last box here. Yes, cracked ice. All right, here we go. Come on. They know we like cracked ice. Khalil Mack attack to 199. And we got Simmons and Terrell to the Falcons and the Cardinals. So it needs to be random. And there's Mr. Mack. The Mack is back. Yeah, Pac-Man but gaming, no spaces. Uh, link is in the description of this video. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So um, I would love to. I would love to play. I have so much. I have so such a good time playing with you guys. But uh, I don't think I have the time. I mean, after, right after this, after I finish this up, sorting it up, and I'm just going to be doing packed stuff the rest of the night. Probably like the early morning. Not early morning, but like the wee hours of the night. While I watch some uh, River Monsters and some, I don't know, basketball. Keep doing football breaks. Honestly, I, I love the, the chat. Like, you guys, in the last football breaks, there's no, like, crazy spam. Which is awesome. So you guys are the best. Matt Ryan. Oh, I, I don't have a... I never like to pay for the UFC ones because I don't really... Like, the fights sometimes are so short. And I only care about that one fight. I always try to find a link. Desmond Patman. Uh, anyone got a good link or a good place you can go see the fights? Honors it was so much fun. I have two cases of regular coming. Honestly, if Panini starts selling everything on their site, which, like, get, don't get me wrong, I hate that they're trying to cut out a lot of the, uh, kind of people who built the hobby, the shops. Although, sometimes they're, uh, not too cool these days. But, I, for good reasons. I mean, like, a lot of the guys who kind of built it up, I, if I have it on their site, I can buy a lot more. Steve Young. Like a lot of, say, distributors, shops, uh, people who just 
you know, built it up over time. Even some, you know, some breakers. They're, they're just trying to sell all the product for themselves now. The honors, I told you guys, honors was, was a product that I was like, come on, people, like, please, I want to see this one. This one's going to be so exciting. DJ Dallas and Kobe Parkinson. The next ones are regular, not first off the line, though, so you don't get those guaranteed one of ones. It should be cheaper, and I'll probably just do a full case instead of halves because it's much cheaper. But, oh, man, those things are ridiculously juicy. Yeah, the Elway I loved. That was so much fun. All right, we got a 294. Marlon Davidson. Uh, does he know he has, like, the whole rest of the sticker? Oh, the Rodgers. Oh, I'm... Yeah, wait, hold on. We forgot about... <laughs> yeah, oh. I was so pumped. I, like, imagine this. It, you're a kid, and it's the 24th. December 24th. Christmas Eve. You've been good all year. You go to sleep, and you wake up, and it's not Christmas. That's that's what this morning was for me. After last night, I was so pumped to get into my box. And then FedEx is like, ha, think again, you fool. And I was like, no. No. I just closed my eyes. I thought it was a dream. Uh, Frederick, I would love to do, and I actually did some early on, uh, lower end stuff. But the problem is, like, we did, a, like, maybe a two-box break of, like, something choice. Or, like, uh, I don't know, just, like, some hobby boxes. And, or Court Kings, you know? Not only, right now, it's just me. If I, one, one day, I'll hopefully hire some guys to help me with shipping and, like, packing. So this way, I, I can have, like, more time to do breaks and more capability. But, um, since it's just me, I can only do a few breaks a week. Like, this is going to take me, all the breaks are going to take me a long time. I'm going to be doing this for a while. Well, the prices rose like five, six times what they were to the point where it would cost so much where I don't even think there's like you would hit nothing crazy. And I mean, it'd be hard to at least. And there's not many cards in just one box. Like one box itself is four or five hundred dollars. We did. We did pull a jar. Yeah. Jar RPA. And we can do it. It's just like more often than not, especially with the prices now three times what they were or four times what they were then. It's just going to be really tough. 225, Kadero Hodge, got Brandon Ayuk. But once prices hopefully go down, I'll, I'd love to because my favorite part is just getting everyone included. Um, that's why I originally tried to do the cheaper ones, but it was come to the point where it's getting too expensive. I mean, one reason why we do so many big mixers, in addition to obviously I can only do a couple a week, is I want something good to be pulled. I want there to at least be a chance to see something big. It sucks everyone you know buys and nothing gets pulled. I mean, how, how terrible would that be? So that's why we usually do bigger ones. I mean, if you guys want, like they've been rising as prices rise, the prices of the buy-ins, which it sucks because I don't want, want them to be so expensive. But if you guys wanted them to be less boxes, obviously less chance of something like huge, but cheaper per spot, like not like still around the lower like 200, then we could do that too. But from what I've judged when I asked you guys, you guys said you prefer the, you know, the way it is now. Yeah, and that was the problem is like, you know, with uh, with the virus, everything like that. On card, not on card, but auto here. Just so many complications. I don't have like a space for it. It would just be tough. But once I have like a shipping team, I, I'm hopefully getting stuff for a better price. Like I have no setup like the other guys do. Two ninety one, Nate Stanley. Um, then hopefully one day we can really expand this, make this like a bigger thing. Maybe have like multiple people breaking. This way, it's not the whole thing just isn't, isn't on me to do, which takes it takes up a lot of time. There's a lot that has to be done. Well, I I was experimenting. Not only did I ask people like, hey, which one do you prefer, but I also tried posting maybe some cheaper ones next to like a big one, and the cheaper one barely moved. I had to kind of like push the cheaper one a little more. So I was like, all right, I guess that's what they want. So probably won't be any for for a little while, and I hate to say that, but it's just like not. In the cards right now, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Jonathan Taylor. All right, let's. See. Oh. A few packs left. We're looking at one more on card. Not in this one though. Ed. All right, last last four. Best of luck, and then we'll do a recap. That does it for tonight's night of breaking. I think we have it right here. All right. 
Predictions, who do you think it is? Should be on card, right? One, two, eight. Got Keyshawn Vaughn. It's a base Keyshawn Vaughn. How do you do this year? Rams got uh, Jefferson and Akers. Did he do all this year? Uh, last last three. Might do we get four auto? I don't know. I don't know if there's another auto we're looking for. We'll find out now. Let's see. Come on, give us one more auto with ice. Give us a bonus auto. They used to give you bonus autos too. Now they don't give you bonus autos. Every now and then, like a box up six autos. If it's five or seven, if it guarantees six. <sighs> All right. Oh, nice. Burrow. All right. Last pack. Here we go. This is it. Can we get one more auto? Can we get last pack mojo? Last pack mojo. Mo no. Got a Riggins. All right. Time for a recap. Oh, and some randoms. We have points to give away. Not give away, but random off. And these cards. All right, so let's sort this up. So many base cards. Oh boy. All right. Ah. Big brick. Time for a recap. Here we go. Got Keyshawn Vaughn, Nate Stanley, Daryl Hodge. Marlon Davidson, TJ Henderson, Steve Sims Jr., Darrenis Johnson, Jake Breland, James Proch, Malcolm Perry, Ross Blacklock, 99 and 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Isaiah Simmons to 149. Zach Moss, championship ticket auto to uh, 25. Pretty nice one there. Xavier McKinney, Jeff Gladney, got a Kyle Duggar to 99. Logan Wilson, Gabriel Davis. Xavier McKinney again. Matab Matabuki. Oh. Matab Matabuki? Matabuke? Something like that. Keen. Peoples Jones. Nice. Uh, Matabuki. Actual um, stub one. J.K. Dobbins. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Um, variation. And then Justin Jefferson. 8 of 18 stub. Gorgeous, gorgeous card here. Ooh. All right, man, that is that is sick. So overall, what do you guys think of the what do you think guys think of the case? I think it was pretty good. I mean, you got the the one we just saw here. So I mean, Clyde is nice. Dobbins definitely nice, and these three are solid ones, especially these two, especially this one. Parallel, Jefferson, Tua, Gibson, one of one, Claypool, not bad, right? Yeah. Pretty, pretty solid overall, which is why I was saying, I was like, definitely watch the case. It helps to watch the case. Sometimes you're going to be getting watching or getting some bad boxes, but um, the totality, right? All right, so let's uh, random off these cards. We'll do top, bottom, like last time. These are all round numbers cards. Got some uh, top rookies in there, and then we'll do the points. So we'll do it top, bottom, and then top two in one random, we'll get the points. Let's uh, do this. Best of luck, guys. And if you're heading out now, I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, if you're staying for the random, then uh, a little bit longer left to stream. A little bit longer. All right, random. Here we go. So, all right. This is this makes it nice and easy. Good thing I I have it saved right here. All right. So here's what we're looking at. Let me move this over so I can see both. All right. We got six box.
Contenders Football, number two, 123 is the date. Dual player ran, uh, card random, top team gets it for all cards. So this is this one random is for all the two player cards. Dice is eight, top bottom, here we go. Thank you, Griffin. Here we go. Bottom gets it this time. Congrats to Bottom. So some examples of this Bottom would be... All these guys down here. So Judy there. Rager, Jefferson. Claypool, Love. Tua there, so... Bottom card, or bottom player gets it. Now for two points, top two. Top two, top two. All right, here we go. There's all the names and teams here. Um, how do we do this? Oh, I know. Oops, I wish it was that much. Cards, plural, date is third, and this is number two. All right. Three. So, six box contenders football. Got a number two, of course. 123 is a date, 400 points cards, plural, there's two of them. Top two name, oh wait, names slash teams each get a points card. So whoever ends up as one and two in the top at the end, they'll each get one. Um, and yeah. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. Here's all the names teams once again. One, two, and... There you go, Daniel and Jeffrey. We'll be getting those 400 points cards. Thank you guys, and um, let me get this down. That does it, once again. I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with us, the fact that you know, all you guys hop in the stream and watch us rip some packs and just talk sports cards and share stuff. I really appreciate that, it was a lot of fun, and thank you guys for joining the breaks. We had tons of breaks, and you guys just showed some crazy support, so appreciate all of you. And um, we'll be watching the fight, watching basketball, watching football tomorrow. Have a great time. Have a great weekend. And um, if you haven't already, check out the main, the new video on the main Pac-Man channel. And then whenever Honor comes in, that'll be uh, posted on, on the channel. So good stuff. I should have some regular cases of Honors at some point. Also basketball mixer, maybe a football mixer too. I'm trying to get some stuff for that. And yeah, stay tuned to the site here. IG here. Definitely drop a follow. Uh, a lot of news and stuff posted there. Twitter there. And then YouTube channels there. All right, guys. That's the first one. Appreciate all you. Uh, no stream tonight, unfortunately, for the gaming one. Uh, maybe in a few days from now, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted in Discord. So thanks, guys. Everyone have a great night. I'll see you guys later.